What's up guys, it's Paul the Toy Scavenger, AKA the Core Memory Locksmith. I'm bringing a nice little video to you today. It's a shipping box. You see this? Look at that. That's what I got, Bill and Ted. Now I've not done one of these for a long time where I get to get a box and open it up. This one is open, full disclosure. And there are a few taken out, but there is a lot in there. So let's get it out and have a look. So why don't we take a little look at the shipping box first? As you can see, it has Kenner on the side. This one had Bill and Ted's TM trademark. Excellent adventure, TM trademark. Action figures and accessories assortment. So it was a kind of a mixed box in this one. Made in China. This one has 24 pieces inside. So full disclosure, it is already open and it has been a few taken out, but there's still plenty more for you to see. So let's just crack it open. Let's do one at a time. Oh yes, look at that. So inside the box, we have Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan was the most threatening dude back in ancient China. However, Bill and Ted realized that he would make an awesome drummer and he, they have brought him back to our time to join the band. This one is 1991 and is made by Kenner. So that is technically what you would call case fresh because it's come straight from the case. But with all figures in a box, case fresh doesn't necessarily mean that it's not damaged. This one has a few kind of creases, scuffs along the side, all over the front. Any separation? No separation on that one. This one actually has a crease down there where it's been in the box. And then you have uh, obviously unpunched because it's come straight from the box. Look at him. Look how angry he looks. He'd definitely make a good drummer. Also in this box was Abe Lincoln. I mean, he's Abraham, but obviously there might have been some sort of copywriting involved. Not too sure. So Abe Lincoln, in addition to being our 16th president, not ours. Abe Lincoln is also the most bodacious keyboard player. Although he comes from the past, his crazy wild stallions haircut really shows that Abe knows how to party down in the present. So again, this one is technically case fresh. There's no separation on that card. He does have a few little scratches and scuffs, nothing too major, but he's also unpunched because he's come straight from the box. I mean, who wouldn't want a president in your band? Nowadays you'd have Trump, Obama, probably get demonetized from mentioning him. So let's move on to the next one. Now, next one in the box did not come from this shipping box. It was added into it, but it's Rufus. This one is a bit worn all around the side, along the top. He's one of the more popular ones. Little bit of separation, slight bit of separation up there. Nothing major, but let's give you a little read of the back. Rufus is Bill and Ted's most excellent friend from the future. While he does enjoy helping the guys in their time traveling adventures, his real joy is jamming down on his keyboards. Again, you get like a little bio card. On most, you know, most of these figures back from the 90s, you always got like a nice little bio card on there. But this one is excellent. So also with these, there was a tape offer. Bill and Ted's tape offer. With the Wild Stallion speaker and tape set and most cassette players, Bill and Ted's action figures can play music. To get your speaker and tape set, send your name and address with a three x four card and check or money order for $5.99 plus $4.99 and one dollar postage and handling. Two, and then the address. Oh, I like that. Rufus is ready to make calls with his portable phone. Now his portable phone is the suitcase. If you look on the back of the card, you can see him using it. So let's move on to the next one. Bill S. Preston Esquire. Obviously one of the title, title I obviously one of the title, I can't say it, title, title yula. Obviously one of two main characters. This one is a Bill. Alex Winter. Now he doesn't come with much. He just comes with his uh, guitar, but he doesn't need much. You know, they just love to jam. I actually do think they really caught Alex Winter's likeness or the cartoon's likeness in these kind of, uh, in this figure. So Bill S. Preston Esquire is a time traveling rock and roll playing dude from San Dimas, California. With his best friend, Ted, he cruises through time in search of historic dudes to bag. I mean, whatever floats his boat. So being case fresh again, it does have a few scuffs along the top and along the front. What I'm finding then with these is they are becoming slightly separated at the card on the top. Everything else is okay at the bottom. But again, because he's from the case, he's unpunched and that's a nice little addition to someone's collection. So next up is Ted, Theodore Logan. There's Keanu Reeves, you know, back in the day, we loved Keanu Reeves. Apparently he's one of the nicest guys in Hollywood. So this Ted card is again, case fresh. Problem with it is we actually have a bit of crease in here, a bit of crease in here. There is a bit of scuffs along the top there, scuffs on the front there, a bit of pressing on the bottom here and 
slight separation there. So that kind of proves when someone says an item is case fresh, it does not necessarily mean that it is mint. It will mean that it's come straight out of the shipping case. I mean, you would like to assume that it's never been touched, but because these items are 20, 30, 40 years old, they get moved around in storage and they get crunched together, they rub in together. Some packing cases have tissue paper in between to stop the scuffing. Then you do find that the tissue paper or contact paper does attach itself to cards, so you get scuffs and sometimes they get stuck. So again, there's a lot of different issues that can happen in a shipping case unless it was taken from the factory, placed straight into a containing unit and never touched with nothing on top of it in a climate control maybe they will be perfect. But other than that, it's really hard to get a perfect card taken out of a Case Fresh uh, box. In my experience and from some of my other videos, if you watch back, I've opened Supernaturals, I've opened Visionaries, uh, I've opened Hook, and most of them are damaged in some sort of way. I mean, in terms of grading, you'll probably be getting like an 80, 85, 90. You know, they are better than what is on the market. And that has been in people's um, kind of lofts or garages or attics over the years where they've got scuffed. And in terms of graves, they can go quite high, but you never find anything absolutely perfect. So like I said, this one has got a bit of damage, but it's not too bad. I mean, it's still got the uh, unpunched, which is quite good, quite cool. So it'd look nice with the Bill and the Ted together. So on the back of this one, it's got Ted Theodore Logan is one of the founders of Wild Stanion's band. He and his buddy Bill travel through time in their phone booth for one crazy adventure after another. That's quite a standard kind of uh, bio, really. Brilliant, you also get the Wild Stallions card offer as well on the back. Let's see what else is in the box. So as in character wise, that is all that is in this box. There is about five that have been taken out, so it could have been some of the other ones that feature in the series. Those other ones are Billy the Kid, which I'm not sure if it actually was released. Grim Reaper, which I'm assuming has been taken out of this box. And then there's actually Napoleon, which again, there's prototypes out there. Um, and it'd be pretty cool to have all of them. And then to have the phone booth playset as well, it'd just look great on display. So you can find most of these in store on thetoyscavenger.com or at all the toy shows. All right, let's lift this up. There you go, there's the rest of the box. You can see there's a few Bills, a few Teds, and a few Genghis Khans. Like I said, there was only one Rufus and he was added to this box. Then the most popular ones to buy are Bill Ted, Rufus, and the Grim Reaper. Genghis Khan is not always that popular. He still commands quite a high price, but he's not the most popular in the range. So if you liked this opening up the shipping case and want to check out some of my other videos, I have tons on my playlists. And if you want to subscribe to see more like this and also a little bit of toy hunting, just remember to hit that button. So I've been Paul the Toy Scavenger, AKA your friendly neighborhood toy scavenger, AKA core memory locksmith. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.